Western Africa, one of the most medically underserved areas in the world with four physicians per 100,000 registered citizens. Togo is one of the smallest countries in all of Africa with approximately one half of the population living below the international poverty line of $1.25 a day. Recently, a team of South Florida podiatrists and physicians, including two from Jackson North Medical Center, traveled here for a great cause. We are a foot and ankle surgeons and most of the time we are dealing with reconstructive surgery and trauma. That means kids and adults that they never have the opportunity to have foot and leg deformities corrected when they were born. And then when we get there, we have to treat them as a second option for them in the way that they can walk, they can ambulate normally. Many of the traumas treated here due to transportation accidents in this area due to a lack of infrastructure. Togo's only hospital has just one orthopedic surgeon. They don't have the bare essentials. So when it comes to medicine, I mean, they're really scraping by. It's unfortunately only the worst cases get treated. The team brought over 85% of the tools they needed, worth $70,000 in donated medical supplies. They saw 50 patients this trip and performed 13 surgeries to those that needed it the most. It's really great to take care of people that need the help and appreciate the help that you give them. It's the best. It's the best feeling in the world. The cause came about through a vision of the team two years ago with the idea to not only treat patients, but to educate them as well about podiatry. This vision became their nonprofit called Podiatry Overseas. I'm really happy to have uh, a friend like uh, Romain and Dr. Kala, Dr. Tim. I'm very happy that uh, they accept to come to Togo to give their experience what they know, what they want to, to teach us in their specialty podiatry. The first trip was on December 2013 and as of right now the team travels twice a year. Future plans include assisting other countries putting Jackson Health System at the front lines of global care.